for example, let's, let's take food. So about 60 to 75% of our immune system is located in our gut. Anytime we eat anything, our body or our, our gut, our immune system has to decide if this is something that is good for our bodies or if it's something that we want to just detox and get rid of. When we eat things that are irritating to the, the lining of our gut, I'll say, uh, the, the, the body kind of comes around it and attacks it and forms little holes in the lining of the gut and our, the nutrition seeps out of those holes and waste products come in and irritate I am coming them. to you as the person who knows little to nothing legitimately but i think that that's helpful because i think unfortunately that does speak to a lot of people in our society mm -hmm. i would have recognized that food was a potential issue i think mm -hmm. even when you mentioned sleep i would think okay yeah mm -hmm. um but not until you made the connection to our intestinal our, our gut mm -hmm. does it make sense that it's also the stress and our environment. I, I encourage patients to take a take an assessment of, you know, when they feel worse, you know, when their symptoms are exacerbated. Is, I often ask patients, you know, where were they born and raised? Were they um, raised on a in farmland where there are a lot of were there a lot of pesticides around? Um, oh, that's so sad because you would think, oh, if they're raised in farmland and they were outside exactly. and they had a really healthy upbringing, but they mm -hmm. could have been certainly exposed to chemicals. Uh, very much so. Very <laughs> much so. Um, you know, if, if if people were breastfed or or uh, mm -hmm. bottle fed, that makes a difference in the, the terrain of their gut and how that is um, kind of formed from you know, kind of the ground up, if you will. And so, you know, really spending time hashing all that out is super important.